Hey guys, so I'm going to show you my automatic mail system, fully buildable in survival even though I am creative. And firstly I will just show you how it works. So let's just see what happens if we put an empty cart in the system and push it. Not much as you might expect. Just goes to the end to wherever you collect your carts. Now let's say I want to send two diamonds, two diamonds to Bob. So we put the name Bob on the piece of paper. Put that in anywhere; it doesn't really matter. Then we push it, and it gets sent to Bob. And then once it's empty, it's sent on two diamonds. Or we could send, say, a piece of dirt to Alice. Again, the order of items doesn't matter at all. So now it skips Bob, because it wasn't Bob's name, and then it goes into the Alice slot. And then off to be collected. So that's a piece of dirt. Okay, now I'm going to go over the two parts of the system, which you can just repeat as many times. This part is completely optional, you could just have the cart stop, but I think this is a nice addition. So the first one is the switching system, which, which you can collect the uh, name to piece of paper afterwards, by the way. And it has to be named piece of paper, it could be different colours of wool, or named anything, as long as it's a unique item that you don't mind not being able to deliver. So we just got two bulb papers. Um, so this here is just an item to set to basically. So I've got 60 bits of paper with bulb on it. Just fill that up with anything. Then we have a dropper full of bulb slips. And that might be a bit expensive to uh, enchant. So you might use colored wool instead of named slips. And then that just goes into chest because so you can collect it if it's an expensive item. Then this that blocks the superfluous. So we have this comparator with the uh, one one length redstone. So that's just for comparing the uh, how full it is. And that goes into here, which gets lengthened. And that activates the dropper. And it also activates the Sversoon Torch, which if I just use a lever, you will see it's all messed up the uh, thing, by the way. You'll see the torch goes off and the direction changes. That only has 62 in it now. It should have 63 in it. Oh. Oops. I've just spoken that again, haven't I? Anyway, and over here we have the exact same thing, just with Alice, paper, and the drop and everything. And then this part of the system is also fairly simple. We have just a generic item hopper underneath a powered rail. And then what this does is this sends a pulse along here, which goes to this pulse lengthener, so it's four ticks here, which goes through here in terms of torch, and then it gets delayed by four ticks, so the entire pulse is eight ticks long in terms of torch for eight ticks. I'm not sure if that's entirely necessary, depending on the speed, but you know, why not use the piece fully? And then as well as that, we also have this comparator, which just detects how full this is, and that gets sent through here as a four tick pulse. So as long as there's items going through here, this will remain off. And then once it's empty, it'll go on again and push the cart. So uh, if I fill up, let's deliver Bob a massive stack of items. No blocks, why not? Ah, uh, the cart's going to get away. Yeah. No way, it won't do anything. So... Put a massive stack of note blocks, pistons, why not? So you'll see 
that turned it off and it's been kept off because items are going through here as it gets drained it may take a while but uh, hopefully you don't get too much mail in one go otherwise potential flaw in the system that just goes down through that's just a buffer in case you get loads of spam mail or something and that just goes down there and that will remain on and that will remain off until it's empty I'll just take most of this and once there's nothing in there for four ticks it will send it off again and you can collect it now um an, an idea would be to have it so you send the mail from a system attached to this bit and then have the entire thing be in a loop and I will maybe make a machine that detects whether it's gone around more than once because uh, that could be fairly useful lol stack of minecarts anyway uh, that's all for now so bye guys